Hey guys, uh, Burnhurt XP here. I just wanted to show you this gameplay I got. I'm not a gameplay channel. Um, I'm not a momentator. I'm not. Uh, I'm not gonna go for nuclears or ten nuclears or five nuclears in one game. Um, I'm not. I don't spawn trap people. You know. Uh, I think if you if you sit there in a in a looking down sides and waiting for someone to spawn, I think it's gay. Seriously, man, you get something because. When you just spawn trap people and they, after they spawn as well, they tell you to play and get spots. So, you know, all those gameplay channels that you, that you see people going like 100 and 0, getting 10 more nuclears in one game, or calling themselves like that they got swag, I got swag, I got swag, all that shit. Okay, anybody can do it. Get a six man party, you'll be able to do it. But here I'm playing solo. The people on my team, they're good, but they didn't invite me to their party. I think it was because I was knifing only and they don't want something. Person that's knifing and gonna bring the team down to join. By the end, they backed out of the party and told me, congratulated me on my swarm, and they wanted to team up. But I said no because I had to do this video. You know, I wanted to play out there as fast as I can. And you know, enough of about that. And let's go look into the game. Um, something I wanted to talk about is what I do. Um, I I go and I mess with people on on public matches. Like I like. Uh, I'm good at the game, which uh, that and that's something I use to uh, mess with people that aren't so good. But I'm not gonna spawn trap people. I'm not. I'm not gonna go geek gameplay. But if I do happen to get something elite play, and every gameplay you will see from me will be 99% from elite play if there is a gameplay. Because I think it's more impressive when you know the teams are equally matched and you can get that on them. Because that means your skills are growing throughout the season, like. Right now, uh, um, the other the team, flag. they were on Masters and up. I think that was one gold, maybe. And when I got this on I them, they were raging hard. And that's something I love, seeing someone rage over a game. Because, you know, a game is just a game. And when you rage hard enough to back out, which they do at the end of the game, uh, we win by forfeit, but there was only like 10 seconds left, I think, maybe a minute. Um, uh, they were beating us at first. I think they were talking, uh, they were saying that I was trash because... I was knifing them, they were saying that, uh, that the only thing I did was sit in my spawn, or, yeah, I'm on, I was protecting the flag, because I had the flag, and they had the flag, so I just had to wait in my spawn, you know, you gotta play smart, you can't, you can't go out there and, like, we can just go in circles and spin, and let people shoot at you, or just stay in your spawn and let people shoot at you, no, alright, um, the, the guy in the bottom, he's protecting me from downstairs. Uh, he gets taken out here, and I get taken out here because the flag shows where you are, and then he saw it. And uh, I mean, everybody in this lobby was a good player. Like, you can't say, "Oh, that guy kid sucked," uh, "That person flag. sucked," but something. Flag has been taken. But there were some plays that the other team did that could have gone better. Like, like right here, this kid. He tries to drop shot me, but since I'm laughing, I'm not in front of him, and I tell him how cool. He was super bad, which made me, like, laugh. Um, second of all, uh, he, they get this capture here. Uh, uh that kid had just spawned there. I, if I get killed on a, if someone spawns, I mean, that's my fault. Because I should have known that my, my team was pushing in the other side, so I shouldn't be there, because they're going to spawn here. You know, especially the spawn system here, they ain't the best, but, you know, uh, after playing a while, you should know what they're gonna spawn if your team's pushing. So you know, I'm not gonna yell at my team. Like right here, they spawn there, and my whole team's on their side, and I should've seen that. And I think that's the last death I get. The rest, oh, I think there might be one more from a lightning strike. Oh no, I think I, that's the last death I get. Um, Our flag carrier is down. Uh, flag is captured here. I, maybe if I had shot him with the ballistic and stuff. And I'm not gonna take him on Our long distance because he has an captured. inmate. Oh baby, the inmate is sexy. I'll tell you that. Okay. Okay. And I, I, I'm just like I'm gonna wait him out. You know, to stick to the. I'll mobilize myself as Thunder would say. Shout out to Thunder. He probably don't need it for my channel with like two subscribers. <laughs> um. Uh, oh yeah, I die here from a lightning strike, but they don't get the person that's carrying the flag, which I was like, what? They get around, they get everybody around but the guy with the flag, which made me laugh, like, but I mean, he gets taken out, and here, look, 
Uh, if you know what the guy's coming, why not just wait for him instead of try to like go face to face? So, if you can wait for him, if you can kill people on their when their back is facing, that's the best way to kill someone. You know. Why try to risk going head to head with somebody that might drop shot you, or jump shot you, when you can get behind them and make them mad? Because in league play, you killing someone from the back is the like worst thing you can do. So, it, like, it's worse than like I don't know. Like, it's worse than concussion them and then killing them. If you kill someone in the back and they play, they they will be dead for sure. Especially because and they play people blame their teammates a lot. They're like, why didn't you protect my back when I mean you should get your own back. Like, like here, my teammate protected me. But if he wasn't there, I wouldn't have got that swarm. And then my teammate protects me again. See, so my teammates, your teammates are the best thing. If you can, if you know where your teammates are, looking at the map, using your teammates to go. Places that, if like, if, if no one's over there and, and there's like three people there, none of your teammates are there, why go there, bro? So you can get that like spawn trap? No. But uh, this play right here was super good. Uh, I, I, I wanted to go for the tomahawk just because I knew I could get it. And he was mad because I got him from the back and a tomahawk. Um, this hailstorm helped out a lot, I killed everybody who was coming. Uh, uh, my teammates took out a guy that was coming from. Um, We've taken the lead. Broken wall, if you guys know where that is. We've captured um, the enemy flag. And right here, I noticed I was so close to my self chopper, so I was like, I'm not gonna risk it. You know, and I knew there was, much, there was some enemies in the back, so you know, just play smart. Play smart. And if you really wanna be a good um, player, I'm not gonna give you chips and chicks, because you gotta, you gotta, you gotta get smacked around, you know. Getting beat up in life teaches you a lesson. Flag. Teaches you, teaches any, everybody needs to needs we'll get beat up objective. once. In life, because if you never got beat up in life, uh, you probably Let's one of those people that thinks that they're better than everyone, that Gun they and nothing can beat them. Uh, you're probably a faggot or an asshole, a big asshole, like a big asshole. Like someone needs to teach you. Okay, I mean, I had got beat up. Uh, I know how it feels. So it teaches you, like, that not everybody uh, is gonna sit there and let you talk shit. I mean, on the internet you can do it because you know nobody's gonna come to your house and find you. But you know, just because you're on the internet doesn't make it right to call someone a faggot. Which I don't give a fuck, you know. Okay. The point is that I'm not gonna break my teeth for my mistakes. Okay, I don't do that. I'm not gonna. And here's like a step chopper. Sorry for going off topic, but uh, I'm not gonna get. Oh. Uh, I got this stuff chopper, I'm like, you know what, I gotta just get this stuff chopper just in case I'm, I get some kills and maybe it gets me close to the Warhog. And I'm gonna cap it out because, you know, they're gonna try to go off for a flag and I'm gonna, right when they get here, I'm gonna it. And this guy, he's been, he's waiting for me because he knows that uh, I, I killed him last time, so he was waiting for me. But, uh, when, if you're gonna camp on it all, I mean, I don't care if you call me a camper, it's league play. Okay, and if you're gonna get a swarm, uh, warhog or something, you know you're gonna you're gonna save it up. And my teammates here, uh, when they die, they notice I'm close to the um, swarm, so they they try to wait out to capture the flag. It's like, so I get the flag. He took out everybody but me, and then when I get the flag, I capture it. And my stealth chopper saved my life because I probably would have died. And I noticed that on the map, if you notice, there there are some people coming up. From boxes, if you guys know what that is, I call them their warhog. And it takes out, I think maybe three people, cause then it back up. So like, the first wipe, it doesn't take anybody. I mean, there's only four people on the map, and there's buildings inside. And I mean, in raider games, the warhog doesn't take out that many people. And I know it's my teammate, it's right next to me. So I don't know if if he's gonna push up, and he gets killed. Like I don't care, cause that's a free kill to me. And there's this war. Okay? Uh, I get to use it, but only one guy's left when I use it, and then I die. Um, and right there I didn't die, because it was a stupid decision of me. I ran out there, there was three people. Uh, it was my bad, why would I get on my teammates at all? And here, uh, there's um, one of the guys backs out from the party, because they noticed I had a swarm. And they were asking me how I did it, I'm like, uh, I was just having, you know, playing sport. And, stupid, and there's the first guy that leaves. And I did stupid uh, things, okay? And, um, uh, the game's about to end here because they're about to back out. If you guys have seen any any knife only swarm on league play, and I'm in platinum, so you know, uh, not not people that go into league play and they like get silver because they suck. And you know, even though they think that just because 
they like the first time I won all my games by one time. Uh, I got into silver, but if you lose three games and you think you should get into platinum, uh, there's something wrong with you. According to my swarm, as you guys can see, this one's going on. Uh, these uh, these guys were super mad. Some of them sent me messages like hacker, but I don't hack. Okay, I, I think it's. I mean, if I did hack, the only thing I would do would probably take uh, make snipers go away, like, or maybe decrease the remitting or something like. Use it for good, man. If you're gonna hack, use it for good. That's been Border XP, and just remember, I don't give a fuck if you hate me, and that's it.